Big. Couch. Confessions. What? Yep, yep. Let's go. Join us on the pink couch. Sit on down and open your mouth. Don't be afraid to speak, girl. Come on in and share with the world. We know you have a lot to say, so why not spill it our way? Spill it our way. Why not spill it our way? All pumped up to start your sessions. Ready for pink couch confessions. Pink couch confessions. Pink couch confessions. Ready for pink couch confessions. Yeah. I'm Zakia, owner of Quartz and Rainbows and Rainbow Trap House, and I have a confession. I tried something new this week. And I'm Laura Murray, the CEO of Love and Legacy Enterprises, and I too have a confession of trying something not new, but something I've always done to get results. Here today because a lot of people when I ask them what they want us to speak about, they want to know more about our spiritual practice. Um, that's something that I could probably, I don't know, it's endless, so we could probably go on all day about that, but something that I did want to go over that I tried this week for the first time is fasting. I, if you know me personally, if you've ever even been in here, you know that I stay with a Red Bull. Like, Red Bull is the, it's my drug of choice. I don't really do too many drugs. I drink a little alcohol and wine here and there, but Red Bull is my drug of choice. So this week, starting, today is what? Today is March 3rd. Third. Yeah. Starting um, February 21st, I decided until my birthday, which is Friday, March the 8th, I'm not gonna have any candy or any Red Bull. And if you know me, like you really know me, <laughs> you know that is a big move for me. I stuck to it, I did have like a piece of bubble gum, which I didn't beat myself up for that because I just needed to chew something. But I stuck to it and I ended up having the biggest week of my business period. Like I had the highest sales I've ever had in one week. I got a lot of things done and to me, it's, there's no coincidence in that. Yeah. There's no coincidence when you ask the universe for something, sometimes they need you to give them something in return. And my gift in return was, okay, I know this Red Bull is bad for me. Let me try to chill on it. And here we are, a week later, and I'm like almost too busy. Really? Yeah. So you have more energy? <laughs> well, it's quite, I didn't never drink it for energy. I just like how the shit tastes. I never, oh, really? I never drink it for energy. It sometimes I will feel, I don't know, I get the energy because I'll start cleaning up. Okay. But it was never... It's been a long time since it's been for energy. At this okay. point, I'm addicted. I like how it tastes. So, I don't really feel any different. Um, I have been craving it. I, I got to drive past the gas station I know it has now later, and I'll be like, fuck. <laughs> but, I, um, overall, I'm okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, proud, I'm super proud. And then the business picked up so much this week. Yeah. So, yeah. No coincidence. Yeah, that seems like that goes together. Mm -hmm. um, I tried Red Bull last week uh, y'all ain't been sleeping a week <laughs> girl so you need to get something up bitch i am not messing with you and this red bull that stuff is i'm talking about up. i'll drink it just a little bit and i'm gone just i'm talking about me, i wins. drink a little bit and i go to sleep like it's just no. it's just it's like me drinking a bucket glass of water and i thought about it, i was like oh my god i can't drink this every day to do my business so look guys don't drink red bull every day <laughs> yeah don't do it it's seriously um, like it's, it's strong but yeah so what you what you mean Okay, so I'm confessing that um, since we're talking about fasting, um, I do a lot of abstinence uh, because of me being ultra sexual. I realized like, I was giving away my energy to manifest, to create, and to uh, make things possible. I wasn't even getting to the point where I couldn't think right, like, because you're just giving your energy away. And that was a big thing for me. Like, my, I told myself, I was like, no, I'm going to die fucking. What y'all talking about? Like, I'm going to have sex every day. And I don't mind um, if I had a, a mate, you know, some mates, I would definitely have sex on a regular basis. But I've learned that um, you got to set healthy boundaries for your dog on self and sit down sometimes. And I've withheld that mm -hmm. and kept that energy for myself. I've been doing it for a while. 
You know that I ain't had no, no, I look, I ain't been nowhere this week, this month, no, this, yeah, this like, year. Wait, this 2019, I haven't done no, anything but that, and that's cool. Like, that's what people need to understand with spirituality. Like, a while for somebody may have been six years, a while for her could be six weeks, and that could be amazing. Don't let somebody, like, yeah. Red Bull for a week and a half for me is amazing, where somebody's probably like, this bitch up here is talking about Red Bull. No, that. That's a big deal. A big deal for me. So yeah. I don't care if it's been six days. If that's been six days longer than you did it before, that's good. And I went a year before. It was horrible. I y'all. haven't and I won't. I went a whole year. I will never not, now. I will <laughs> never do that again because I depleted myself. Mm-hmm. Like I was I never got re energized. Yeah. <laughs> and so it put me in a depressive state. Yeah, so right. I have a limit now, everybody, where, like you said, you might fast and you may end up thinking, well, you know, I want that now or later. Right. I just, that's why I, I said set limits. Some yeah. Other. And um, as much as I think that, you know, being celibate is great and all that, I'm, I'm not going to be the one to tell y'all to do that. I, that's up to I you take my decide. breaks, but yeah, I'm not, there's other people y'all can go to for that. This ain't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, and, and we're not telling anybody what to, to do, do anything, but because I mean, what you for you may not be for us. Yeah, I'm um, just answering some questions because uh, being out. abstinent is hard. Yeah, I think it's harder to be abstinent than it is to give up a drug. Yeah, definitely. I'm um, do it if that's something you want to try, but yeah. I'm not gonna be. I'm. I'm no preacher in that. Now, right now, I'm not practicing abstinence on purpose. <laughs> right, right, and that's I'm just that's just going away. But I am being creative. I'm creating a lot. You said something about um, manifesting more money and stuff. Did you, uh, when you stopped drinking and eating the candy, did you have any like euphoric feelings or did you feel better in no, your mind? No, I mean, I'm not like, even you clear minded. No, I didn't. I mean, I'm not gonna even front like, oh, it's been some, uh, some big epiphany. No, I just happened. It's funny. I did it. I stuck to it. I'm still sticking to it. And I just happened to have a really good week. So to me, there's just no coincidence in that yeah. because I set a goal and I did it. And then it's like, okay, girl, we see you here. Now, next week, you got to send another girl with a goal because you got to pack all this shit. But yeah, it's just all mm-hmm. related. And then you spoke on something about boundaries. That's something I'm working on big time, especially with my business. Um, Like, Y'all not gonna keep on DMing me your fucking life story and getting a response. That's the boundary I'm putting up. Oh, yeah. It's a lot still, of. <laughs> you still got all them DMs? Yeah. You always talking about DM me? No, bitch, <laughs> love, DM me for some stuff. Cut it out. It's a lot of. Um, and I love everybody. I love everybody that supports my page. Um, yeah, you're But I give awesome. a lot. Of, I give as much free information as I can. Yeah. So uh, I hate I hate decline a lot. It's not because I'm gonna fuck with you. Just I don't. Ha- I, I can't do it. These things that you guys ask me and ask other people, I'm sure. A lot of it can be Googled. I'm not Googled. I'm also not entertaining any order questions in my team. Okay. Um, I'm a business. I'm so grateful that some people have found, most people have found me on Instagram, but I got to just say, hey, please email, your, email me your question because that's how I can keep up with it. Yeah. I can't keep up with the DM. So it's nothing personal, but these are personal, nothing personal to you because I'm super grateful. I'm going to forever be grateful, but these are about to myself because I can't keep up yeah. with business in my DM. So that's that's also something I've been working on spiritually. Um, so that's another kind of fast. Yeah, and my just just working on my. Body. And as you see, we're talking about just kind of removing things, kind of fasting. Like some people take away food, some people take away water, yeah, some people do. don't spend money. Yeah, I have some people do water, no water. For real? Yes, yeah, I'm like I'm not. Yeah, I did that one accident because I got rid of Comcast trying to <laughs> cut back the field, bitch. So that's another thing. Um, so that was something you didn't even do on purpose. That wasn't on purpose, but I purposely was tired of paying that motherfucking bill. That's good. So I cut back on Comcast. I don't need half that raggedy shit I was watching good. anyway. Something else. Um, damn, what was I about to say? Oh, this is another example I speak of all the time. So when trying to manifest more business or money for yourself, how about this? Stop fucking shopping so much. And start wearing if you if you have a, if you have a tea line or something everybody does that but like me I hardly ever shop like I don't need I go I may grab something if I need it and I grab stuff for my kids of course but this you don't see me in this every day it's just promotion like this is what I own I gave away a bunch of my old stuff that I don't wear and I wear my tees and it works because it's like okay I get to promote and then I make myself not shop and spend unnecessary yeah. money all of my money goes back into the business and that's a whole other conversation but um that's something you can give up give up shopping i have a friend i know she's cut back a lot on her shopping trying to focus on her business um yeah. that's a lot of women's problem to shop yeah that's, that's that hasn't been a problem for mine since i started this business i've been free my money goes back into it. i shop and when i do shop it's be some stuff i can use. that's how you know you're serious though about your business 
yeah. know to do that. And you should be walking around. I don't care if you have a clothing line or not. You should go and get shirts printed. Why get anyway, because I was at a party last night with another one of these on. And because of the back of it, like yeah. people, I don't know why they just didn't want to look at my breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, um, we didn't see that part. But the but back the, part, the, the yeah. Line. And if you guys look, it says... At the Pajay Jay Yeah. Room. And people, they were following me right at the party. Yeah. And it worked. So it's like, it doesn't have to be stuff you're selling. This is just something I give. These are promotional shirts. I'm going to give them to everybody. But yeah. that's a good thing. So they don't have nothing to do with nothing. But because we get asked about business a lot too. Yeah. Cut back on the unnecessary shopping. Get your kids what you need to get your kids, of course. Yeah. Pay your bills. But as far as clothing, take a year off and be right there. Like, yeah, I mean, some people got to do a clothes fast yeah. because some people, I used to be the girl with the Gucci bags and the Prada and the Louis Vuitton and mm -hmm. I had to be, you know, in the $2,000 shoes. See, and, I never had any of that No, anyway. that's over. <laughs> but the, some of the stuff I did have, I gave away because I just wasn't wearing it and yeah. I just, it's been a year since I started the business and this is what I'm in. Like, well, I love Goodwill. <laughs> so, I really do. I yeah, love Goodwill and, a lot. Yeah, if you have to still shop this. Maybe cut back on the things you're buying. Buy, yeah. Go go to Mar. I, I live in Marshall. See there, yeah, Marshalls. Do those type of bargains. Yeah. And catch a sale and make sure that you actually need it. Like right now, I need a whole, I need a whole new wardrobe, a whole yeah, new I shoes. Need some and I had to tell myself how am I going to get it, but I wasn't, I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of shoes, y'all. I'm going to go and get two practical pairs mm -hmm. that I need, that I need. Right. <laughs> Other than that, I don't, I'm not into the shopping. It doesn't satisfy me. And then. Universe watches you help yourself, it will pay you back in return. Mm -hmm. So you can't, we can pray all day and write down these manifestations, but you gotta put, you have to put the work in. And sometimes the work may not be promoting your business. Sometimes the work is inner work, just as okay, you know what, Universe, I'm, I'm not gonna buy no shoes for a month. Yeah. I'm gonna focus on my business. And then you will see things start to pick up. And that, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's amazing how, like, the stuff, if y'all, my, so I celebrated my one year anniversary February. Mm -hmm. I looked and at my was... sales from <laughs> this February, my first February, and like I almost shed a tear. Like, Aww. and when you put the work in, the universe is going to back you up. You gotta... What I want and help the universe do it is a spiritual practice for me because mm -hmm. there was a time when I used to do shit. Like, I just, yeah, I remember just like now I'm. I look back at who I used to be I'm like, who the fuck? Like I was sad. Yeah, I wasn't putting. I was saying what I want, but I was not putting the work in, and that's why I wasn't getting it. I wasn't putting the work in. Because we as women, we were shit. taught we were just supposed to get it. Yeah. It was so, very, like, I spoke on it, and I just expected nothing yeah, to go that, wrong just because I said that. We're not saying that it. that can't happen, but you got to. If you want it to happen faster, obviously you put the work in. The yeah. universe will back you up. The universe, God, whoever you pray to, will back you up. It may not be exactly when you think. That's another thing. Patience. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta have patience with Big all patience. this shit. Yeah. And, and sometimes um, you said something about speaking um, things out. I just was talking to Saletta. Mm -hmm. um, she's at Saletta Blue on IG. <laughs> we were on the phone talking, and I said something negative. Right? Why the next day it happened? Yeah. And so we got on the phone with each other because we were we were talking about the subject and I was like, this really happened. She was like, no, we can't talk like this no more. You need to watch your mouth. Yeah. And so you got to watch what you're saying because even when you're trying to speak good things into existence, you might just be having a conversation and I was just saying something like a joke. I'm joking and silly. And I was just talking and I was describing something to her and not thinking nothing about it. The very next day, it happened. Yes. Yeah, and um, I'm glad she called you out on that because that's oh, yeah. what my friend is supposed to do. Yeah, she said we don't have to worry about the beer, our okay e word anymore. She's like, you need oh, to I stop have, talking negatively. I literally had not said that in <laughs> over six months. That's a, please yeah. cut. It. And y'all, I've said this before. If you're saying the word, oh, cut that shit out of your vocabulary. I don't say it. Yeah. The friend thing you talk about. I have a friend, and I love her to death. And if she sees this, I love you because she's gonna know I'm talking about her. But she vibing a little bit low right now. I give her my advice, keep it moving. I'm here when she needs me, but yeah. I can't, I can't give too much energy right now. And now I realize when people would fall back away from me a few years ago, why? It was why? their own boundaries. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that they didn't fuck with me. It's like, Zakia, that's what you need to do. Do it. I'm here when you get it together. Exactly. I can't. Like, I'm, 
feeling really high right now, I can't go lower for anybody, not even my own mama. Like, that's how I feel. She gets to talk shit. I'm like, all right, mom, come back. <laughs> so, and and I I say this because I was that person bringing people down with my attitude. Yeah. So I can say it because now it's like, oh shit. That's why they weren't talking to me at that time. That's why. So now I'm saying this to the next person this time next year. The next person, the person I'm speaking about, will be talking this conversation with somebody else. You know. Yeah. So it's all part of the learning cycle. But um, oh yeah, it is a cycle. Please believe you don't have to stay where you are. I mean, synchronicity is gonna send you people to show you a different way. Yeah. And that's what happened. To, I think both of us. Like I met a lot of people that show me. You guys show me stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I meet people. It's crazy. Um, but yeah. My daughter, um, I had to set healthy boundaries with her, and it was hard because I, I didn't check myself when I was younger. I didn't know that my kids were going to turn out like me. So all the stuff that I used to do, you know, she does. Yeah. And so um, she likes to get little attitudes. And you know how we get little stink-ass like, attitudes? And I get little stink-ass attitudes now, but her attitude is that. How old is she? How, when we were teenagers, she 18. Uh-huh. So you know how it was then. We hot, hot. We, yeah. we know everything, and... I had to tell my daughter, I said, just because you're acting the way I used to act, don't mean I'm going to continue to let you act this way with me. I said, I will not enable you to continue on this path. And it was it was shocking because I've never done this. I never put my kids in their place like that. I thought they should have full range. Y'all know that about me. And I had to set a healthy boundary because you're not going to bring my frequency. I had to tell this child what frequency was. I was like, you're not going to bring my frequency down. I'm rolling right now. You are not going to be a problem. I understand that life is shitty for you. I get it because I, I used to be there and I used to be you. And I had to explain to her this is all because you're manifesting this. You're creating this world of turmoil for no reason. And you can stop at any time. So I have to, wait, right now I'm not talking to my daughter. And that's okay. I feel good about it. I make sure I, her brothers check on her. I, every now and again, I'll send her a text, say I love you. I know that girl blocked me. And what? On Instagram or She blocked me on everything because she's upset. Just think, because this is how I used to be. You know what? Because I was always blocking people. So now she does to me. So even with your children, that's a fasting where you have to go. And sometimes you got to push things to the side and start acting. You know, get rid of your old self. And start being a better person so that your kids can see that. Because mm-hmm. I'm telling you, everything about that little girl is me. Yeah. I, I couldn't even be mad at her. I'm learning that already, and my daughter is 11. She'll be 12 this year, and I'm already like... It's hard it's facing yourself, and you're like, dang, I was really an awful yeah. person. Mm-hmm. And that's why I know I was not a good person, guys. I thought I really was a good person. I thought I was a really, really good person. And deep down, I mean well, but I wasn't taught well, so I didn't know how to act with people. So she really shows me how bad I used to be. part of growth and healing when you can see something in someone else yeah and pull your own shit from it and learn and teach them at the same time yeah because there's things i see in people and i'm like it triggered me i'm like that's because mm-hmm. that's how i used to be so let me be a little bit easier and that's that's part of it yeah and this is so random because we're talking about spirituality and manifestation so i have some <laughs> fresh flowers over there mm-hmm. um oh, you do. i had okay so it's funny because years ago Remember, my husband would bring me flowers, and I'm like, just give me the money. Like, that shit is so stupid to me. And I, even, that's, now I laugh, and like, that was so ignorant to say that because flowers are so powerful, they vibrate so high. Mm-hmm. So now, um, it was a chick on Instagram, her, she's at Bossy Bruja. She had made a post about being able to keep fresh flowers in her space in her home now. And I was like, damn, that's interesting because I've been finding myself so much more drawn to flowers. Yeah. And I said, I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep fresh flowers in my space both my workspace here and my home and I'm gonna hope and make sure she sees this but yeah so I have fresh flowers over there and that's just a treat to yourself um yeah the flowers can die but shit while they're living they're, they're vibrating high and then when they die then you put them in your bath and you just keep it going but yeah. that's just something small that I picked up and I did learn I got that from her um I'm gonna keep fresh flowers in my space both my homes when I leave here I'm gonna get some for the house because the ones I had this morning died same with those I just put them there and yeah just little things that you and that's just me calling myself out because all the years of a man trying to give me flowers I'm like give me the money just give me the money that's silly I'm correcting yeah. these beliefs and that sounds so silly and minor to somebody but it's me like backtracking and like no flowers are beautiful flowers yeah. are from the earth flowers hold so much energy and power especially rose the rose is the most high vibrating yeah. flower on the planet so 
Yeah, that just the, I just happen to look over there, and that and that's, that's a good change thing. though, because that's another thing that people need to understand. Just because you used to do something, don't mean you should always right. be doing it. I remember, um, I used to be a know it all. Mm -hmm. Just I know because I've been through a lot. I know because I've been here. I know because I've done blah blah blah. And the other day I was looking in the mirror and I said, like, "Bitch, you don't know shit." So clearly. <laughs> You yeah. used to think you knew it all. At 40 years old, I'm like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> like, we were completely taught wrong, so we're, we're actually retraining ourselves. Yeah, like, I, just, like, I was talking to my friend not too long ago, and I'm like, wait, why was I so stressed at 20 again? For no reason. I didn't even have a child yet. What the fuck were we bugging about? Just making problems. <laughs> like I used to be so in that back when I remember now I can relate to people that make cut me off. Mm -hmm. Just fucking complaining, complaining. Now like I wake up and every day is not roses, you know. But I wake up and I'm so grateful, and that's why my blessings are literally magnifying. Yeah. Because I'm grateful for what I have. I'm grateful for the shoes on my feet, the clothes. Yeah, my apartment is much smaller than I want it to be, but I'm so confident that that's about to upgrade when it's time. Yeah. Like I'm just so grateful for these things <laughs> instead of. Not like I, I feel that shit, but <laughs> I'm so grateful for just life and my kids are healthy and I even try to cut back by complaining about my baddest little son. I love him to death. I'm like, you know what? I got a little behavior issues, but it's healthy. I'm just working on just being grateful and to give one lesson in spirituality. Like one word, it would just be gratitude. Yeah. You want to start seeing the results, be grateful. In Show gratitude for what you have already. You want to manifest money, business, new love. Be grateful for the things you have. Yeah. Already. And um, don't expect stuff. That's the yeah. one thing that I found out. Because even though we have businesses and we make plans, I make these businesses and plans, and I don't expect anything. Yeah. I mean, I speak it into existence, and I know it's coming. But I think when you you feel you're old something, mm -hmm. it blocks some type of way. And I used to be that type too. And I went through a phase many years of having bad luck. Yeah, like, you feel like, like I felt, and shit. now that I don't feel that nobody owes me anything, I'm, I feel free. Mm -hmm. And I even though this is business, like me and you meeting and us doing this stuff, um, like I've changed a lot since meeting you all. Mm -hmm. Because you guys have now shown me how to be cool with the female. Mm -hmm. So we need to stop saying another thing is that women don't work together and women are not able to be working together. That's not true. And, and I, think, I don't know, sorry to catch you off, but these little bitches that don't like her, <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't relate. <laughs> yeah, we have a, uh, I was told that I'm not relatable and I, some women have confessed to me that I make them uncomfortable and they kind of sort of hate me low key. So I don't have a lot of women supporters on my app. I don't have it, and I genuinely love women, like in all types of ways. <laughs> and that, that right there is something else, bag of spirituality. What I was telling her, we were having this conversation, that is their insecurities. Yeah. That shouldn't have nothing to do with her, and that's all, just the whole, how do you get spiritual, how do you start? Usually, some bad shit happens, you start calling yourself out on your shit. So for a person like that to just come up to you and say, oh, I can't, I don't like you because you make me feel bad because you're slim when you have this app. So, bitch, you need to go and put down the cookies and figure out what, is what it is you you're do? going through. And I'm telling cookies because that's me. Figure out what it is you're going through to make sure you're not like me. And that's something that is all, this this whole spirituality path is not like really rocket science. It's all inner work. Yeah. And once you just begin to be comfortable in your own skin, be comfortable with what you have in the now, then these things, these fucking miracles start to happen. And I think that comfortable <clears throat> and confident go together. Yeah. A lot of women out here, you guys, where I don't know what's up, but y'all playing like you're confident and you're not. Um, you should never go out in the world not confident, and that's something that, that you're gonna have to take that. Ne that's a, neg that's a negative with fast. That. I struggle with that. Yeah, and <clears throat> you gotta take yourself up before you leave. I got a little bit of this, but I'm not gonna look at but her. But ain't gonna let you stop yourself. I'm not gonna look at her saying, but she don't got nobody. No, fuck that. When I when my big ass wants to put the cookies down, I'm gonna do you're it. You gonna do it? Cause then I know I can look like Dory. Just like you stopped doing the red bull. Yeah. Girl, by the end of this year, you are gonna be in that Range Rover in that house, girl. You are gonna be looking good. I may good. still be fat, but <laughs> you're not gonna be fat. You're not fat now. <laughs> but you're I'm gonna have other shit. That's, that's, that shit coming. You gonna be fine. This this is kind of hard, but. Whatever. But she never hated me because she might have a little tummy and I came in talking about you do have a little tummy. She act like she got she, she act like she the biggest bitch she's not. 
Um, but she never hated on me and Saletta never hated on me. So I do not mean to make women uncomfortable. Please believe I'm here to help. I don't judge you all. Um, I literally put this app out to help people so that women could feel more confident. So you could have more control over your mind, body, and spirit. And so you could go out here and build those securities up and understand that it starts with you. And so that's, these are, this is a negative fast. Like I had to do it. I had to fast myself from negativity. Meaning me, myself, and I being negative to me, myself, and I. Because every time you're negative to somebody else, you need to check yourself and say something's wrong with me. And I realize that now. Like, I would never go to a woman and tell a woman those things. I never have. Because I just, I've never coveted anything that another person has. I feel like if you got it and I want it, I can do it. You can do it too. And I had to stop telling myself I was stupid. I had to stop telling myself that I couldn't be a CEO. I had to stop telling myself that I was um, I was nothing more than just a mother. Right. I was so negative. So once I stopped that negativity, um, it started as a fast. Mm -hmm. I, it was a project. I was writing down all the things I was negative I I about. Yeah, it. pros and cons. And then I went through the list. And each day, I would learn to not say these things about myself. And it ended up being more pros because I took all my cons and turned them into silver linings. And I was like, actually, <laughs> you might be kind of shitty over here, but... <laughs> So it worked for me. You guys, whatever you need to do is up to you. We, like I said, we have people doing all types of things, but I think to get a healthy lifestyle, you have to start with yourself. And I don't think we're checking ourselves like we should. Like exactly. Women are out here blaming people. They're playing victims. And we women are better than this. We're stronger than this. And we're capable of a lot more than we're telling ourselves. I talked to a young lady last week, and she said that her only goal in life is to be married. That's it. And that's okay if that's true. <laughs> I don't think she would be happy like that because she's the type of person that she she's a mover and a shaker. Like, but you know, know what? what? If that's her goal, that's, that's she's gonna that. achieve that goal and she'll find out what she wants from there. Yeah, because I I had a little period when I just wanted to be wife and mom and I yeah. I was that until that was no longer enough. So I I'm never gonna tell somebody that their goal is not big enough. It's just if if you outgrow that goal Please feel free to work on you. Yeah. That's the thing. Is that, you know, that may be her goal. I know some people who are great wives and that's all they do, but that's not common anymore. So in her case, I think she's going to be a great wife. I think she's going to get married. I think she's going to do everything she says she's going to do, but I have a feeling something's going to adjust later. <laughs> and it'll, it'll work out for it her because is. she's the type that the dude that she's with, he's going to adjust with her. But I just think that we, as when we're setting our goals, we don't have to limit ourselves either. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you don't have to just be a wife and you don't have to just be a business owner. Um, you don't have to just be a mom. No, you really can do all this. Shit ain't easy. I'm trying to do all right now with minus the wife part. I'm trying to get rid of that title. <laughs> the other two things I'm trying to do. And yeah, it's hard, but I'm determined as fuck. Like, yeah. And there's a lot of women um, manifesting uh, children into their lives and they're having miserable time so you guys need to really think about what you want to manifest because I, I got some calls from y'all up here I'm talking, I was on the phone the other day and I was like really the lady oh, she's a she's a doctor she's great she's got children you know just had these little babies they're small under five they're little, little. her and her husband great but she no it's not really what she thought it was gonna be and she's older so she she told me flat out she's like I don't know what I manifest I'm glad I had mine's a little was seen a little younger now. Yeah. No, she's she's um, four girl. No, I have another with baby. these small babies, and so it's not as fun as she thought, or it, you know, fulfilling. It's tiring and it's it's time consuming, and you know, it's adjusting. I, I have three. <laughs> I have three kids. I love so, them to death, but this shit is that <laughs> mixed with the business is not. I don't know how you do it. I tell Celeste all the time, I'm like, how does she do it? Uh, <laughs> There's no way I can talk to her. Like, like, what you been doing? Like, nothing. Just been working. working and <laughs> Kids, like, I, work, yes. You said something I want to speak on, and then I'm gonna shut the fuck up. You had said, like, about you showing your workout videos and stuff like that on Instagram is not to put anybody down. It made me think about something. So, in this spiritual community, um, there's, a, there's some people that get on Instagram and they're like, spirituality is not all love and light and blah blah blah. That's correct, you know, because a lot of times when you start your journey, it's because you got smacked the fuck down to a dark place. So that's correct. But here's here's one thing about my page, Course of Rainbows. You ain't gonna see no darkness on there. I don't even like to post a black picture. So 
I feel like there's enough darkness in the world. Yeah. When you log on Instagram, if my post is the first thing that you see mm -hmm. and it makes you think about something happy, that's what the fuck I'm here for. It yeah. does not mean I don't have a bad day. It, it now you even catch me in my stories, maybe telling the relatable things or whatever. But I'm not blasting that shit on Instagram. It's enough of that. Y'all can go over to the dark side for that. I'm not gonna discuss hexes and shit because it ain't even something. That's not even something that I've been seeing a lot of stuff. Out yes. Of um, I mind my business with that. <laughs> Everyone is free to do their own spiritual yeah. practice. But this is just another this fasting is, idea this because is something, you can fast from yeah. doing negative things on You are going to, my page is forever going to be positive. That don't mean that this kid don't have a bad day as a kid, I don't know. It's just my little contribution to it. Yeah, and you're not being fake. Uh, somebody said something about um, my page is always upbeat, you know, do a, am I being fake? And I was like, I'm not finna put no. When you see, and I had to tell him, I said, when you see my documentary, then you'll see me cry. Right. Because <laughs> I'm not like, going to put all that on there. Yeah, again. if you read my <clears throat> ebook, it's two yeah, her bucks, book is awesome. I'll show, I'll tell you what I lost. I'm yeah. not ever trying, I've, I've spoke about it in the stories. I'm never trying to act like I live this, you know, this stressful yeah. life. We're not faking over here. No, anymore. it's just, I'm going to put out the light because there's enough darkness. So if that mm -hmm. makes you uncomfortable with my page or she fake, she pos she's only positive. Then and I don't understand that. The thing is, what you um, focus on is what you get. Well, exactly. so, so the thing is, those of you who want to post, don't think great. That do that. But please understand, there's going to be consequences, repercussions from that energy because I'm you're about every day shit. you're it's posting negative stuff. Yeah. Stuff. I mean, I'm not judging anybody. It's just know that just you know, her page you might go to look to feel good physically and get your vagina tight and all that shit. My page you're gonna get right mentally. Yeah, it's and motivation, inspiration, yeah, it's, that's what spirituality, I like. balance. I'm, yeah. like, I'm a light worker. I'm here to spread light in the world. That doesn't mean I don't have a bad day. It's just, you gonna feel good when you're around me, hopefully. And that's just my purpose. And somebody told me that they thought, okay, so they, they, they're new into uh -huh. the spiritual world. Uh -huh. I don't know who, thought that we can you know just come into the spiritual world and everything's going to be fixed like that we had to learn how to walk at one point yeah nothing still learning. is going still to be perfect day. at all the time yeah. <laughs> like it's it's a mindset um how example is it? yeah if you have a problem your choice you make mm -hmm. is it, you have a choice to decide is this going to bother me or not i know it's a problem it's right. a challenge for me but how am i going to handle the challenge and Challenges are going to come no matter what you believe in. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're praying to Allah, to whoever, to whoever but you're going to always have challenges in the world where human beings cross paths. So make better choices. You said that on the last show. Like It's the choices you make. And if you want to be your best self, then think at that moment, what is my better self right now? What would my better self do in this situation? I could have got mad when my um, Indiegogo campaign didn't get launched ex exactly at the time I needed in my whole video. I'm talking about I've been working on this video so long. <laughs> I've been working on this video so long and it was just gone. So I had to call Adobe. I had to call everybody like, hey, what is up? The whole video gone. I don't, I, I'm freaking oh, out. Theater? Yeah. And I, I had to tell the caller, wait a minute. I paused and I, I calmed myself down and I said, what are you freaking out over? Either you're going to have to do the video over or they're going to find it. What are you tripping over? Yeah. And so I reeled myself back in and I apologized to the caller. And I said, look, it's cool. Let me know why they call me back. Um, it was Friday afternoon. No, was it Friday? No, it was Saturday. No, Friday. It was Friday. They found my video. So that's why we didn't post the actual Indiegogo with the pitch deck video. Because we have to go back in. Now we got to finish the edits that we did. So they did find the video. I was freaking out, recording all this new footage, doing all this stuff over. And just the very next morning, they were like, oh, we found your video. I could have. Because you stay calm. I stay calm. I could have caused that situation to go really bad. I could have called you and been like, girl, I'm just feeling, you know, putting all that bad energy on you or Saletta. Or I could have just been stank. I didn't. I was just prepared to take care of it. And I think that's what you guys have to learn when you're in this spiritual journey in any religious belief. If you allow something to affect you, you're allowing it. Yeah. I hate to say it, but even when it's serious cases of domestic violence or even like somebody's death, you can decide how far you want to let your mourning and grief go. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're going to have those feelings, but how far are we going to take it? Yeah. Are we going to go ahead and mourn respectfully and, and give us the time and then move on? Or am I going to be depressed and house and messed up for the next two years? Yeah. It's a choice. So I think you guys will see that we're not the best people out here. Right. It's not like we're perfect. We're just now making better choices for ourselves. Our choices are not your choices. You need to be an expert of you. 
you need to figure out what is good for you to do but this is what works for us i'm in my house burning sage all day like nobody's business where another person will say sage doesn't work and that's fine it might not work for them they might not believe in none of that i feel it does and so I put that in there, and then that spray, that white sun powder, I um, spray that everywhere, and I do my <laughs> prayers with it. I like to do that. It's not that I think some mystical being is going to come out just because. <laughs> and I tell everyone that comes in here, um, everyone that shops with me, and they're like, what should I buy? Because I just have to, what's known as like the starter stuff, you know, yeah. sage powder. I'm like, listen, before you buy anything from me, because I don't really need your money that much, it's mindset. Yeah. So get your, you know, you some tools, but it's... You gotta work with the tools and the mindset and I'm just big on that. Like I'm not here to just force products in your face. Yeah. This shit is not gonna work until you get your mind. I think there's something on Instagram about that um people pretending to be in the spiritual world oh, to absolutely. make money and <clears throat> you guys do have it's to okay. be aware of the signs. You'll both see people will fade away. Yeah. Um, you'll see the truth. Because the universe will handle it. It's as simple as that. But yeah, that's all I got. Well, I have one more point. Um, a lot of women, and this is because I've been talking to all these women, you're blocking your creations because of the spouses you're choosing. Um, I don't care if it's male or female that you're dealing with. I'm hearing too many times that people are with people for security and they're not going anywhere. So how are you secure if you're not building? Um, if a person is in your way or you are allowing this person to be in your way, because they might be the best person in the world to you, you might be your own problem. You cannot let somebody take up all your time. You cannot let somebody stress you out. If you're chasing somebody down, worried about phone calls and all that, that means you're not manifesting what you need. You're manifesting what you don't want. And you're going to get it. Let me say this. If you're looking for your spouse to cheat, they're going to cheat. Every time. And you're going to find out. I've been there. It's real talk. Like, we're, we're blocking our own blessings. I manifested my situation. And now that's why I know better. So I do better. And now I manifest a bunch of this shit. Yeah. So we're living examples of what we used to be and we're trying to be better people. So don't block your blessing. Isn't that what your whole thing is about? she got a whole book. You guys need to go get it. I read the book. It's, it's the bomb. Don't block your blessings, bitch. Like you really need. And what's the other one? Start your business, bitch. Start those your are, business, Those are really, they're really good books. And they're very short to the point. But what you're saying in there, that's really what these women, you guys got to understand. We can be blocking our own selves just by the energy we have around us. So. Try to make your household balanced. Try to make your friendships balanced. Try to make sure your relationships are balanced and you're not the problem. Nine times out of ten, you're your own problem. I'm my own problem most of the time. <laughs> I don't have a problem with nobody else and I don't blame others for my shortcomings. I don't care if we get in a car accident. I, I'm going to tell you, I did something. I'm <laughs> something caused me to be in this situation. <laughs> So that's what we got for you guys. This is Pink Couch Confessions. Sorry we've been gone so long. <laughs> we're getting it together. We've been handling shit, okay? We're getting a whole life together. Look, we got business stuff. And here's one thing that you must know about Sakia. I don't, I don't have a schedule, okay? I do things like flows. And I'm here when I want to be. <laughs> And I'm not here when I want to be, and that's why. You got a big box of cannabis incense over there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, don't um, don't bug me about what time I'm gonna be here. This ain't really a store for me. It's my secret space. It's my office. So yeah. And and you guys, uh, for those who do need advice and all that, you know, donations go a long way for somebody's time to give you these, oh, you yeah. know, sessions because I get a lot of sessions too, and it's cool that they're free, but. When it takes up a lot of time, it's like, look, I want to help know, the world. It goes back to boundaries. That's yeah, all. and that's why I created an app for this. So you might have to get your app on that. That's I'm really what my app is for because I was talking to too many people. Yeah. So yeah, guys, um, don't block your blessings. So get out here, do the things that you guys want to do, manifest your best life. Um, remember, I'm on IG love underscore in underscore legacy, and I have uh, the JJ Trainer mobile app coming out in spring uh you guys need to mess with me on my indiegogo so click that link button and donate <laughs> i can't get the app out if don't nobody help me i need funding man so i'm out here begging now so Shut yeah up. i'm begging now like look we look if 50 cent can beg for thirty thousand dollars i can beg for my funding so <laughs> i need funding <laughs> Should i need some funding too we all need funding, okay? We need funding, and I need some help. I need some workers. I need help. So I'm going to manifest that. So that means I got to go on the fast and get some things in my life together. And then it's going to happen. Yep. So we're good. Bye, guys. <laughs>